Refer to the PowerPoint presentation for other positions that will be filled on an actual incident, such as upstream lookout and downstream safety. Swiftwater incidents are dynamic and take a lot of coordination. In this video, we are focusing on the actions of the hose inflator crew. All personnel will wear appropriate PPE. Establish traffic control on the bridge, which may be simulated for drill purposes. The crew caps the hose with the hose inflator device, attaching the high pressure hose to the cap and an SCBA bottle. When inflated, the crew should be able to squeeze the hose with their hands. This will indicate proper inflation pressure. The hose inflator crew attaches one end of the lifeline rope to the carabiner at the far end of the hose. The lifeline rope will pass through the carabiner on the near side of the hose. The near side is that side which is where the victim will be recovered. The hose inflator crew then looks straight down to the water. Once the crew on the bridge sees the victim grab the inflated hose, they drop the hose and lifeline rope into the water. The pendulum crew on the shore quickly pulls the slack of the lifeline rope, wrapping the victim in a horseshoe of inflated fire hose, and in turn causing the victim to pendulum to shore. The retrieval crew assists with removing the victim from the water. Rescuers can use throw bags or reaching devices such as a D-handled tool. The retrieval crew and rescuers at the water's edge are connected to a safety line to prevent the rescuers from being pulled into the water.